cyano functional group and what it's a cyano functional group. Right. Yeah. So if it's triple bond, it's cyano. Cyano. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, anyways, this this is not a cyano group, so, even though we're recording right now. So this is hydrogen cyanide. What we're going to do here is depict the hybridization of the carbon from the carbon atom itself. Okay, so remember when we're depicting the orbital hybridization from atomic orbital to molecular orbital, we have to show the atomic orbitals of hydrogen or of carbon first, because carbon we're looking at. Okay? So when we're looking at the atomic orbitals, the only ones that matter are the valence orbitals. So those are the ones we're going to write. Okay? So you, get, you guys can help me if you remember. So carbon, what are its valence orbitals? 2s and 2p. Yeah, the 2s and 2p. So we're going to write that like that. Okay? Because we're showing them energetically higher up at the top, right? So how many 2s orbitals do we have? Just one, just one. And how many two p's? Three. Three. Or three, right? One, two, three. Okay? But what are we going to do? We're going to depict now the hybridization, right? Because this is not just atomic carbon, right? It's a molecular carbon, okay? So it's changed its orbitals from atomic orbitals to molecular orbitals. Is everybody okay with thinking like that? So, we'll say it mixes it up. Oh, we've got to put our electrons in first. Let's put our electrons in. Okay, so how many electrons does carbon have? Four. Four. So, how many are going to be in here? Two. Two, right, because that's of lower energy. And then these de degenerate energy, so we're going to have to put one, two, there. Okay? So now, what do we do? Well, this is going to mix, right, to form hydrogen cyanide. So, how would we do that? And how would we know how to do it? Because it's going to be triple bonded, which means it'll be sp, so you'll take 1s and 1p. Okay, so it's going to be triple bonded, so it's going to be sp. So in order to be sp, we have to take an s and a p, right? So what does that mean for these two P's? Did they get put in the blender? No. Okay, so what are we going to have out here? Yeah, we're still going to have those two P's out here. Like that. Okay. But these S P's, what's going to happen to them? Or the S and the P, what's going to happen to them? We're going to mix them up, and they're going to form orbitals down here. Right? How many S P's are we going to have? Two. Two, right? Why? Because we put two in, we get two out. Okay? Does that make sense so far? So how many electrons did we start with here? Four. 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 Okay. So, one, two, three, four. Like that. Okay? <coughs> so what's going to happen here in this particular molecule is that Hydrogen's orbital is the s orbital, right? So the s orbital is going to bond with one of these sp orbitals in carbon. Nitrogen, what is the hybridization of nitrogen in this molecule? It's sp? It's sp, because there's how many electron groups? Two, two, right? Okay, so the electronic geometry is, um, you, if you think linear, you know. So this is sp. So what? So it's going to be an sp bonding with an sp, I guess. Yeah. Couldn't think of the question fast enough. Okay. So this would be the one uh, s of the hydrogen is bonding with this thing. The sp of the nitrogen, and what would be bonding with these guys up here? High bonds. Yeah, the p orbitals from the nitrogens to make pi bonds, we say. Okay. So the nitrogen atom would look very similar to this, except it would have one more electron associated with it. Okay, and that would give it its lone pair. Any questions?
Can you draw it nitrogen real fast? Do you want to? You want to do another one of these with? Let's just do another one. We'll record a whole other video of the same molecule, but we'll do nitrogen instead. Okay. okay, is that okay with everybody? Okay. Any questions on this one? <laughs>